My son Michael had cystic fibrosis and he was on the list at Emory for a lung transplant. But before he got the lung transplant, he was diagnosed with a malignant brain tumor and he died. Fast forward 15 years. I read about a man in the newspaper and he needed a lung transplant. I looked up his address in the phone book and I left my house that day, not really planning to go by, but my car just went right to his house. I knocked on his door and he answered and I said, you don't know me, but I feel like God sent me here today and I want to help you get your lung transplant. So for the next two years, my granddaughters and I did lemonade stands and they raised $1,100 with their lemonade stand. And my husband did a golf tournament. In total, we raised almost $30,000 for Jim and he got his lung transplant and he was given two more years of life. And I'm so grateful for that. And that was my God moment, was the day I knocked on his door. Because if you know me, that is not the kind of person I am. I would not have done that without the encouragement of the Holy Spirit. The first time that I felt God really present in my life was uh, in high school. Uh, I remember the exact day. It was March 15th, 1987. I had been invited by a friend uh, to happening, and it happened actually right here in this chapel. It was uh, I, I w it was a service that I'd never been a part of. I was not part of the Episcopal Church. I was not part of any faith community. Um, I knew the basic story of the Passion, but when I experienced it here, um, in the setting among this group of believers, the way it was shared, it was. It brought me to tears as a teenager. I, I felt, I felt God's presence, His hands on my shoulder, and I will never, ever forget that moment, ever, never.